So let's have a quick look at the deck inside Deckable before we learn how to upload this deck. So here's the deck landing page of Deckable and I can go into the deck info page, have all the information on that deck. I can flip through the collages. I can choose a card, tap over, choose a couple more cards and arrange them on the canvas. Really simple. I can shuffle the deck at any point and I can shuffle any face, very simple. And I can also browse the deck and I just go through the cards one by one, tap to flip them over, tap to select the cards. And then once I've selected some cards, I can view those cards on the canvas and do other things with them. Any point I've got cards on the canvas, I can journal on those cards. I can choose which card I can journal on the collection or the card I can type or I can just type my notes or I can talk to my phone and it'll transcribe my audio into text. And there we go. Nice and simple. And I save that away, save to my timeline. And now I've got a complete visual log of all the prior readings that I've done. Very simple. And then finally, cool thing about video, about Deckable is you can play audio and video with every card if you want. So I just tap on the card uh, click on and video. The next yes. process is to move into app testing. And so then once it's in app testing, you can use your deck inside. There you go. So simple, very easy, just attached to the card. It appears like the card, you play it and you're done. So there's the demo of the deck. Um, this deck was literally created as very simple for the purposes of uploading, just to demonstrate what's possible. So let's get on with the uploading process. So we are here and this looking at the deckable screen here and we've got this deck already loaded um, and you can see there's there's the page that I've created I'm gonna do that again for you from scratch live as we go through this um, before I do that I'm just gonna show you the assets that I've got here because I've created everything from this deck from scratch um, so here's the cover that I created in Canva. And there's the back of card created in Canva as well. And here's the, the graphic that I created there for the seven step process. And then you'll see these six um, guideline cards. Uh, I've got a process for that as well. And here's the blank spreadsheet that I'm gonna create and populate. I've already created it, I'm gonna populate it. And then here's what I'm looking to create. So there we are. And then in addition to that, I've got the files here from uh, the artwork files, the artwork from Canva, the artwork from Keynote. And I basically, this, these are the 28 card faces that I designed in Keynote that some of those have got artwork that I created in Canva. And, then, and there we are. So <laughs> I'm going to start now and create the deck. So I'm going to go here. I'm in Deckable, I've already signed up, I've already um, confirmed I'm a creator, I've agreed to the terms, and I'm gonna create a deck. So the new deck menu, the decks is under new deck menu there. I choose new deck, all the text I need is ready. So I'm just gonna cut and paste in the name and cut and paste in the tagline. And I've got all this copy that's um, that I've got together by um, using Markdown. So there's some Markdown text in here. If you don't know what Markdown is, uh, you can go Google it, but Markdown lets you, do, like, lets you do bullets and bolding and stuff like that. So I've got some of that in there. And then if I create the deck, you'll see then it takes me straight to an import CSV screen. Um, Let's go make that CSV first. I have a, I have a pre-prepared made one, but I'm gonna show you that process, right? So I would have just go to Deckable and um, I can go to CSV data sheet from the about menu and click on CSV data sheet there and it's gonna ask me to make a copy. Well, I've already made my copy. Uh, so I'll just go to the blank one, the blank one here. Um, and what I'm going to paste in here is, is the text of the card. So that I ended up with 
about 14 cars. Um, and basically there was there are seven cards for the process that I've outlined. There's seven cards there. And then there's six um, cards for the guide cards, but there's an extra one because there's one card to explain how to cut and paste for Mac and one card to explain how to cut and paste for Windows. And these are all guidebook cards. So they won't get included in the shuffle. So I just put the word guidebook in the tags column and I copied that down for the. I took the keynote and I just um, exported it as images. The, the one tricky thing that you need to know, which is different for, for Mac and Windows, is that if you copy all these files and you just want to right click on those and copy, it's that simple. But now in your clipboard, you've actually got all that as artwork, as files, not file names. So there's a little trick you do is just go to a text editor so I can just paste in. Or you guys, because I've already pre-divided mine up because they they go into the first seven are um, face one, the next seven are face two, and then I've got the seven guidebook cards and the, and the backs of those cards, right? So I'm just going to go to my spreadsheet here and I'm just going to go into face one and I'm going to, I've pasted those in, the seven cards from there. And I'm going to grab that there and paste that into phase two. And these are always usually sequentially named because they've come from a source, right? But you just put them, depending on how you arrange your fronts and backs. If you had a really simple deck with just one face and a shared back, you would just have one column. But I've got three-sided cards here, which is a cool feature of Deckable. So I'm showing you, I will be showing you the shared back. And then this is the face one and this is face two. So let me complete that task. And if you have all your artwork ready in advance, which you probably have if you've already created your deck, then this process is, is really quick and simple. And now I've got, basically, this was what I was trying to create and I've already created it here. And now what I do is I go to the uh, download as a CSV, just comma separated variable file. And I save that, give it a name, um, and it's gonna save in my downloads. I'll use my pre-existing one, but it, that's how simple it is, right? And this is your master record. So you wanna update this and then up, you can download it again and upload it again to Deckable. What's really important is you do not mess with these rows, do not really mess with any columns. You can just not use them, but don't delete them. Do not touch this sequence column. These, this is just the row number. And so if you update the file, Deckable knows matching on the row to update the rows for you. It's very simple. <laughs> just don't change the sequence number, otherwise you'll mess things up. And then you want to throw away your deck and start again. And if you do get stuck, you can throw away your deck. It's just fine. Just delete it and then create another one. So really the best way to learn this is to start, not to be all knowledgeable and want to know everything. Just start and then you, you can move from there. So as soon as you create your deck, it's going to ask you to import a CSV, right? A checklist in Deckable. And the top item is the CSV. It's got no price. No front of box, no genres, and various other things. This list grows and shrinks and grows as you go, but as you fill it in, it whittles it down. So that's why, as soon as I'd created a deck, it took me to import CSV. And here, I just click fix it, and it takes me to that plot. Checklist is your guide. Um, and if I want to, I can go find that file, uh, and I can just go to uh, my documents, here it is, and there's my CSV. And that is the downloaded file that I just showed you. And I load it, like so. And here it is now. So here's all the card names and the tags and the missing file names. So now, if I go back to the, the checklist on Deckable, you'll see the no CSV is gone because we've got one now, but it's now telling me the top item is missing media, 28 items missing. If I click fix it, it takes me 
listed here to upload and it's listing all the 28 files that are missing. I could also get there from this footer menu here, upload media it would take me to exactly the same spot. So here's the upload media. I can click and find the files by clicking here, but or because I've got the folder ready here, I've got the 28 items already highlighted. I just drop them into Decapod, boom. And you'll see now it's processing four, four files at once, just scrolls through those and it's sending that artwork up to the server. It's gonna process it. It's gonna do more things after that, but we're, you know, we've now fully loaded those files, right? That's how easy it was. And if you change any of those files, you just come back here and drop them in again, right? Go back to my checklist. And now it says the next thing on the top of my list is move to testing, because now it's saying I can actually use this deck inside the Decaball app. To move to testing, I just click and you'll see that item has now disappeared, no price. I can set the price, got to fix it. I can set the price. This is gonna, this deck's gonna be a free deck, so I'll set that price to free. Uh, go back to the checklist. A no fronted box art, right? That, so that's a really simple step to, to, to fix. And I can choose the box art from artwork from Canva, 3D, that's not the 3D box, that's the, the box cover. And I'm gonna choose the back of card, shared back, there it is. So I've loaded those two and I just update that. In the act of updating that, it takes me here where I can then choose the color of the side of my box. And I choose that like so. So now it's there. And if I look at the box art now, although that's that's actually, that's dynamically created below here, you're gonna see that it's actually made me that image with my box art in a, as a 3D deck, right? So now if I go back to the checklist, there it is. I've got no collages for the deck. So I can fix that and I'm going to just save that as a collage. That looks good. I'm going to do a, I'll just put a heart in there. looks kind of fun. Um, generated for me at a random. If I load it again, it will be different, uh, but that's super slick to do that. And you've, you've got all these options to lay out cards in, in all these different ways, right? And you can see now I've got those two collages already created. Um, and I'm just going to do a kind of uh, showing three faces of the card. So I'll show what the front, the back, and the, the faces look like. So it's a three-sided card. I'm going to um, save that to collages. And now I'm ready to go. If I go back to checklist, and here I've got no genres. So I'm going to go fix that. And this is a learn maybe a coaching deck. So I'm just gonna drop those into there. Drop that into there. And now I've set my genres. And if I go back to my checklist, you'll see that's so now it's saying it's ready to publish, right? But that's how easy it is. <laughs> end-to-end -end process and if you get stuck at any point if you want to change anything you can go back to your spreadsheet update it download it again import your csv uh, i think i didn't show you i haven't done here because i haven't quite got there yet is when i've made all these videos i'll put the video ids in here you'll see i've loaded two of them already these are videos that we've already got loaded but i'll fill in the set as i've made the videos and then i'll paste them in here then i'll re-upload the csv and that'll all be done <laughs> nice and simple so there we go